Hello, it's me, Paul Lee, and I am playing 1257 AD, or Anno, as I'm just going to call it now, I think. But, uh, I am on the hunt. I'm up in Scotland at the moment, on the hunt for a slave trader. Because I'm very close to reaching my goal of 10,000, at which point I can then build a mansion, I hope. I have the money already, I just need to make sure I've got money left over. We were recently fighting the Welsh, took one of their uh, castles, and yeah, so I've got a bit of money, a few prisoners. There's a tournament going on at the moment, I feel I should join it. Join one-on-one -on -one tournaments? Join team on team tournaments. Hmm. One on one's probably easier for me to. Oh wow, that's a lot of money to make. All right, let's do it. It's one on one, so it's not too bad. But it's probably going to be like one hit takes me out. Oh, this is this is easy peasy. Wow, we use our own weapons. That's not fair. At least he's trying to joust me. If I can just get close and whack him a few times. I'm also wearing my new clothes, which do look pretty awesome. Yeah, that hurts. Jesus. I wonder if this is one of those things where your health permanently stays down and doesn't regen. So if I lose this, if I finish this fight with little health. You know, this would be easier if I take out his horse, I suppose. Or just bust his shield. I mean, getting close with the sword is easier, but it's also riskier because I do take hits. And like I said, he's sporting some very heavy end gear, which I'm not. So I can't let him get a hit on me. And every bloody time he blocks. See? Damage there, that's not good. I can get behind him, that'd be perfect. Probably even better getting off my sword. I'm mean, get, getting off my sword, getting off my horse, and just trying to. This is actually harder than it looks, he's got a bit of health. Oh, he's stuck now. Alexander High Steward of Scotland. Oh, Alexander Stewart. High High Steward, okay. I got my health back, that's something. Are they all Lancers? They all bloody well are as well. Has he got a crown on his head? Oh Christ. I don't know if winning this match is a good idea. <laughs> I think this is the King of Scotland, the last King of Scotland. Hurts. Ow. Um. He's busting my shield as well. He's busting me. I don't know how to do this. Um. Okay. I'll do what I did before, maybe. How do you block it from behind? Jesus, he hits hard. That is not fair. I need a better weapon. Alright, well, I'm still in this. I'll win some money if I can win. This guy's gear isn't as great. Got him in the face there, in the snoz. Oh, that was easy. Oh, that was Peter from my group. <laughs> I feel bad now. Sorry. I gotta win this. Oh, easy peasy. Another one in my group. So I could just send my guys in there naked. And then just go and fight and I'll just win easy rounds. There's a plan. There is a plan indeed. Sorry Charles. Had to be done. Another one of mine. 
Alright, just remember, pretend I hit you and then fall over. What are my rankings? Am I at the top? This also d makes me depressed because these this is my strength in combat. So I am currently five wins, one loss. Charles, how, how has Charles won five? BS. I can't lose another fight though, that's for sure. Now I've got a hard one, so... I think I hit his horse there. Ah, okay, I'm gonna have to do the old game stuck. <laughs> what was that? What was that, sir? Got some good hits. Oh, he's dismounted. This becomes easier. Even if he's got a spear, a, a, a pole arm, or a lance, and he's on the ground, it's still a lot easier than uh, when he's on a horse. Now the stupid bug is going to change to his sword rather than his pole arm. And again, he's hitting me, so maybe I'm the stupid bugger, who knows? God, I love my new outfit though, that looks so nice. Maybe the easiest way to do this is just run, ram my horse into him. There we go, easy peasy. Yeah, taking out the horses is definitely a must end. Okay. Oh, Charles, you bugger. The tournament has ended. Let's get drunk. Whoa, 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 ho, ho! Whoa, 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 ho! I earned 5,000 denars along with another 6,500 from the bets I made. Holy cow, that is how you make money. That is how you make money. Okay, well. I guess I'll go to the feast, because why not? Why not? Hello. Bye bye. Let's talk to people that actually matter. He actually bested me. Better be humble. They're at a war with Norway. Well, I may as well just say hello, get my relation up, and then we'll, uh... Oh, I kicked this guy's ass, didn't I? Alright. I think we can, uh, move on. Unless there's a weapon I could pick up. Just because my weapon's... Aren't doing too much damage, but never mind. I'm gonna head back to my town. I'm gonna build a manor. I hopefully, I never lose my uh, my land. That would suck. I don't know how it works, but okay, he's giving it to someone else. That's fine. So I'm here. Let's let's build a manor. Okay. I purchased a manor nearby, and I believe you can build as many of these manors as you want. Uh, where is it? Where's my manor? There it is. I've still got 13,000, and does this show up on, like, as my character? No, it doesn't say I own the manor as well. But if I can increase the prosperity of this place, then it means more money coming in for me, which is pretty, you know, pretty damn good. So we've got Marshall. What does he do? Okay. My lord, I'm not drunk, no. Storage. Okay, well. Is this my horse? Okay. I guess I've got to talk to this guy. 
All right, so let's go over taxes. So what could I build? So I need to put money into the treasury. So maybe if I build like a farm or something. It only takes up to a week to build, that's not bad. Alright, let's build it. Oh, we already have stuff in our settlement. I didn't realise that. Walls. Oh, I can add walls, okay. Right, awesome. So, I guess this will make us some money as time goes on. We'll come back here another time. So that's cool. We increase the prosperity, have more people here, we make more money. Yeah, that's gonna be good. That's gonna be good. Alright, well. And then I guess you can make a manor at each place. That's quite insane. Definitely a nice money sink. Recruiting a couple of lances, the way I figure it, I'd better go out and continue to fight, you know, make that money. I actually have quite a lot of money on me at the moment, I probably should put some of it up, but uh, invest it somewhere. I'm not following someone, I will not get a penalty. Well, I have been following him. Can I... If I build one of these things, I can actually get, you know, more prosperity. 4,800, uh, 5% increase. Uh, a school would be good in the long run because every month the village would go up relation-wise. So building this first would be pretty good. But it's like one point every month. I don't know how useful that would be. But once I've got it, however long I play this game, it's going to be worth it. So... And again, maybe just going for the short, uh, short term prosperity would be pretty good. So we'll build a mill. It's cheaper as well. Plus, I can always do jobs, you know. To increase my uh, relation with this town. Let's head back over to the remaining Welsh territories and see what we can do. What? I have been following him. Did, was it because... What? That's bogus, but whatever. I was helping. against me. I want to fight the smaller group, but... Wow, <laughs> this is bad. Uh... This is just 
bad, bad vision, can't see anything. Oh well. I'm gonna charge ahead with my cavalry, at least once they arrive, and then we'll see if we can just wipe them, up, wipe them out pretty quickly. Then we'll move on. I do need to improve my weapons though. I like how even though it's just lots of rain, they're still firing at us. I can't even see them, but they can see us. What's up with that? Need to find some more uh, tournaments as well. Definitely worth doing. quick battle. The good thing about this is that they had a lot of prisoners, or they had a few, but uh, I can recruit them and we can continue with what we were doing. Probably need to set it up so my companions actually sell the items when we visit towns. Maybe I'll do that now. So what we want to do is anything that's worth like 1,000. Maybe 1,500 because anything of real value I'll take anyway. Sell the grain, want to keep the grain. Hides, wool, and cheese, we'll get rid of them. Unless they have a decent weapon for sale. Any any decent swords? No, okay. A decent helmet, perhaps? Wow, 70 armor. I've never seen that before, or at least nothing that high. For some reason in this game the music keeps cutting out. I don't know why. Not to worry. Wonder if I can find that group. The group of Welsh that were roaming around. They had fairly high numbers, but I'm fairly certain we could probably take them. Whoa, we're under siege? What? If I was to jump in here and help defend, could we could we defend it? Oh, never mind. Cavalry is here. Convey my apologies for not being here earlier. Unfortunately, I cannot raid it. Now, I could go over there and raid the other town. The only problem is, is that the enemy would single me out and attack me, so... That's probably not worth doing. For now, we'll just uh, hold here and see what happens. I'm thinking I'll go over here so we do go to the other town. First, <laughs> he just came out of nowhere with a bigger army. Oh, I'm 
just gonna... All of my troops to attack a little point me actually fighting because it's an easy win. Relation with England is going up, relation with these guys is going up, always good. Got more prisoners, that's more money for me. We could just take out the rest of them. I could go and raid that town, get a bunch of resources to sell. Not entirely sure where we're heading to, but I think we're just sort of roaming around. Like, oh yeah, we're we're fighting these people. Let's turn around and fight them. Manners, though. Oh, silly, silly, silly people. Whoa, what are these guys doing? Norway, why are you over here? Anyway, that's it for now. Join me next time as we defend a castle and find out what Norway's up to. Anyway, until then, thank you for watching.